Today, I have an illustrated tutorial where I show you some illustrated gradient techniques. So follow along as we create some cool illustrated typography effects for today's tutorial graphics tutorial. What is up people, welcome back to the home of graphic design content here on YouTube, Tutorial Graphics. Before we start the Illustrator FX tutorial, if you are subscribed to my content, please check the bell icon here so that YouTube lets you know every single time I upload a video. YouTube doesn't send out my tutorials to every single subscriber, so by signing up for notifications, you're never going to miss an upload. Anyway, let's crack on with today's Illustrator Gradient Techniques tutorial. This design could be considered an Illustrator Typography logo, but it doesn't have to be a logo design. So I've pretty much labelled it as an Illustrator Typography Effect design. In Illustrator, you need to type out your word or your words with the Type tool. So choose a typeface similar to mine here for your typography design. Here is the font I'm using, in case you want to know what it is. You want to use something that's quite thick and blocky, and a sans serif font. We need to first expand the typography and then ungroup it to start today's illustrated tutorial. As you can see here, now the typography is ungrouped. Hit Command R or on a PC Control R to open up your rulers. You can then bring down a guide. Select all of your typography and the guide but then click the guide one more time so it has a thicker blue line around it. In the Align window, we can then make sure everything is perfectly aligned to the guide like so. Using the arrow keys on your keyboard, you can then move the typography letters left and right. With the direct selection tool, you can also hold down shift to select multiple anchor points at once and then nudge them over too. We want to overlap this part of the typography design. I want to unite the first two letters in this design in the Pathfinder window so they become one shape. This is where we're going to add the gradient effects to our typography design. Make sure the slider is set to 100% on all of your colors. And we're going to use three colors for this design. So click in the middle of the slider to add a third one. If you click here in the gradient window, you can access the grayscale colors. We want to use shades of gray and white for this typography design. The white one being in the middle of the two darker shades on the left and right. Here we can change the direction of the gradient effects on our typography design, and this will give an illusion of light. We can move the letter A behind by moving it to the back like so. Then add another gradient style effects to the letter. I will adjust the gradient slider with the same technique as before. And to save time, I'm going to skip ahead for this part of the tutorial. So here's my gradient effects typography so far in today's illustrated tutorial. Select one of the letters and access the gradient window, and then double click the dark tone here. We need to access the RGB window, and then copy the code with command or control C. And then in the fill color, paste in the command with Ctrl or Command V. With the rectangle tool, I'm going to make a rectangle and then place it behind the gradient effects typography. Because it is a similar shade to the grey shadows, 
The typography will almost look as if it's blending into the background in some areas. Now when you're grading window, make sure that you have only two colours this time. But then turn the light shade down to a 0% opacity. With the RGB colour code we copied before, paste it back into the dark section of the gradient technique. To really make our Illustrator typography effect look really cool in today's Illustrator tutorial, take the pen tool and then with the gradient we just made, make a shape like mine here. And you can see that looks pretty cool. Now add that to any area on your typography that you want to overlap itself. I'm quickly going to show you how to remove a section of your illustrated typography lettering. With a pen tool, make a shape over the area you want to remove. Select the shape and the letter both by holding down shift on your keyboard. And then in the Pathfinder window, choose the minus run option. With the direct selection tool, we can go back in and move the points around to make a crisp outline on your gradient technique lettering. After cutting out the shape, the letter will automatically be brought to the front of all layers. So I'm going to send it to the very back and then bring it forward one layer above the background. So what do you think about today's Illustrator Typography Effects tutorial? Remember to like and share this video if you did find it useful and subscribe for my four weekly graphic design uploads here at Satori Graphics. Also hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. And until next time, design your future today. Peace.